Oh, that's me. Yeah, join me. Excellent. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God with visible. All right, agenda approval. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda. All those in favor? Aye. I didn't ask yet, so we can't jump the phone. Okay. Okay. All right. So visitors to address the board. This is the time for public comment on non-agenda items. The board will not take immediate action, but will refer concerns to the superintendent and ask him to report back to us. We appreciate you keeping your comments to three minutes per individual or five minutes if you're representing a group of patrons. Is there anyone that would like to talk to us? I just had to say it just All right. So we're going to turn it over to the new business, the colors and the materials for the St. Helens High School remodel. And there comes Ryan to run in right. right now. So are you ready for us over there? We're ready for you. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually here as a witness just to make sure that Elizabeth <laughs> has some backup. A witness. Really support my note taker. So Elizabeth Gonzalez is going to go through the presentation and the materials. Awesome. Hurry up, I'll let you have your chair back. So welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you. You're supposed to stay there tonight. Welcome to the presentation. Yeah, I think it'll stay up this way so that you can't join. <laughs> I'm just going to use the trace. Yeah, I'm going to trim the chip for now, though. Thank you. Okay, so St. Helens High School. Um, this is our final interior design. Um, we have a few items to go over and just kind of go over the concept and where we ended up and just kind of get the last line thoughts on this. I think through everything, we had a really strong concept that connected to the culture and community of St. Helens. Um, we wanted to connect to the site, the history, and the community again. Um, we connected to the river, the gateway to uh, St. Helens, um, the heart of the community, the timber history. Um, and then we wanted to reflect the strong endurance of the community through connecting to your guys' using, you know, the basalt with rock quarries as your guys' connection back. And through all of our iterations of going through this design process for St. Helens, we stuck with that strong concept. We may have had to simplify materials, and modernize it, um, but we definitely kept on coming back to that concept to make sure that you guys um, were, were personally reflected in it in the interiors. Um, going through the plan, we have our building, which is uh, building A, which is the river. So we have the cool blue concept. And moving through there, we have building B, which is the heart of the community relating to the forest. And then over here, building C, because of your guys' classes, such as your art and art and restrooms and things like that, we connected to the rock, the basalt um, of your guys' industry. Um, if we look at this, we have resilient flooring throughout the classrooms, polished concrete throughout most of the corridors. Um, we do have certain areas in building A where we're having resilient throughout the corridors. Uh, tile in your guys' restrooms, and just as I go through the renderings, we can explain it more clearly. We have a, so we have a stronger. Yeah, because uh, yours is so light, you can't have it. Just turn off that front door lights. Okay. Yeah. Turn off the lights. Okay. You can see you glowing in here. Oh, you don't need to see, just see that, right? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So entering into St. Helens, um, we stuck with, we had originally the concept with our logos, and we have the concrete, the wings coating, so, and then um, we have our wood ceilings, um, and we have our blue accents throughout there. We have a nice modern light fixture for you guys to come through your main entry with, and that has been consistent throughout. We moved all of your guys' graphic panels to the front entry, which you can barely see right there, but that's where you guys have it now. Um, here we have the logo, which you guys can pick up on your screen, and then we have another opportunity in the comments of that to see. 
graphic yeah. panels, so there wouldn't be any more like over by the comments or. No, we don't have them by the comments, and we have them just at the front end right now. I mean, not the comments. I mean, the, the media center. No, we don't have them there right now. Okay. So we moved them all here. Um, let's see here, and so referring to the board, you guys can just see. You guys can see the real materials. So the walk off mat is still blue. Um, coming into the admin area, which will have um, the blue carpets. This is your reception area. And this is the front of your reception desk, the countertops, your back, um, your accent wall, the wall covering, and these are all these. And this is your wings going into the cat board throughout. And to make that more clear, we have your guys' reception area. So now it we reduced it, we simplified it. It's very modern. You still have the wood back and that curves onto the ceiling. And we've taken out all the pendants. We still have the solid surface transaction counter, plastic laminate front. We've taken away a lot of the resin, which is, you know, it could be reduced. It still has that modern feel and still captures the concept that we originally had. This wall, let me see that one. This wall here has the wall covering. Just to add an extra accent to that to that area. And then we have a blue accent paint coming in. So if you were to go back to this area, we have blue accent paint on this opposing wall, and then you have white that runs down this corridor. And so you get a little of that blue accent when you're coming into the building. So you're still pulling that river concept through. And then your admin area has the um, has the blue carpeting and we have um, the, the resilient um, LBT that looks like uh, wood. So in that in those areas, we have casework that is to come <coughs> with the, the vinyl the linen weaves and the gray. So that has that contrast in that pot. Going into the commons, we've done a lot of simplifying there. We've opened up the structure. We've taken out a lot of the, we've taken out all the baffles and anything in there, but we were able to paint the beams so that gives you guys some little accents in the ceiling. The wall that runs above this corridor here is accented with blue as well as, in as, well as the projection wall. And then you have white throughout, so it's nice and bright and vibrant and still really connect to that. Um, that river concept in the commons area. Also on this wall here, this would be a good opportunity to actually put the school logo there. We talked about it being wood. Um, it can still be wood. It can be wood painted, or we can even do something like a piece of vinyl if we're talking about it. Or, or even piece of metal. So if you decide to make a rather large wood CNC thing, it could pick up a source. Yeah. And Elizabeth, just to double check, because I think some of the people that are online, they're not able to see your laser pointer. So you can see the, when you're talking about the logo, you're talking about above the server. Oh, yeah, above this wall right here. So this would be, there's a wall that kind of pops out and lines up with these columns right here. And so you can have the logo here. This is the server wall down here. And that has our projector on it right now. So this wall right here is actually the one. I, I can't tell because it could be reflected away. The, the darker blue that's down below, is that the color of beams further down at the end, or is it not anywhere? Because that looks like it's just all the light. This blue? No, down below. So you have the dark blue in the sample. Oh, is yeah. The dark blue in here? No, there's no, uh, the dark blue is the beams. Oh, because it looks so much like the camera. Okay. Yeah, the dark blue is the beams. It just, it looks a little different in the rendering. And so if you want to see the actual yeah. yeah, that's okay. I just saw the two and I didn't see the I guess yeah. I'd say dark blue okay. anywhere. And then in this area, and the one so there's a transition that happens right here where the warm wood base coating curve resides in here. And then because we enter into the common, we go into this lighter wings coating. And this kind of connects to more of that cool tone. This is what it is here. I have another option. One that we never really got to review, but this is what it looks like if you want to close. And that would be your main code over down here. Um, and then you still have your white door, so that brings that warmth. 
And so this is still the hard stop that we see throughout. It's just a different color. And so this cup, this wave's coating would come around all around here and then dive into this corner here and stop. And then you would end up, and then your um, wood wings coating from the entry wraps around here. And this also has the blue patch that runs down that corridor. Yes, sorry, go back. Did our, did our staff pick that blue color? <laughs> Just That's the color of my house, Rosie. I know it's color of your house. I don't know. So Either like darker blue or a gray or so something else. I'm right there with you. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm here's ready. the actual blue here. So the renderings can be stark. And it's, well, paint is one of those things that we, I had as options. So they're definitely, if it's too much, we can also go through what would you rather see. I think the thing is, is that because you have so many cool tones in here. If you were to go with the gray, you're gonna really get something. You know what I mean? It's you're gonna, it's just gonna be very monotone. So I think a nice accent, you could even take this wall and make it white and just keep this one here as blue that runs down. And if you had one of those things, blue they came out of that space is much, much dark. Yeah. I mean where it's gone because of color, but the blue that came out of there was really almost a it glowed out in the hall. I, I just bit. don't know why we're so blue. I think like we have yeah, not a chin at all. <laughs> I would almost ask like some it's of the older fun. staff members, maybe yeah. not staff with young children, who what colors they would put in there. Well, I think the thing is that we weren't going with school colors, we were going with sticking yeah. with the concept of the but it is in a it's yeah. in a community part of the building, so like yellow. Um, would represent still nature, but also a lion color. It just feels really juvenile to me and was reminiscent of like a hospital. And <laughs> to me, I think that kids will act age centric of what we're telling them they are. And it feels really juvenile to me. And, and, and I wanted to go similar. I guess I, was, I wanted to look I guess real adults are mature, but for yeah. me, that blue bean going down, if it was the same color as the other beans, would make a difference all by itself. Mm -hmm. Just thinking of one blue bean and maybe having that wall at the end be a color, but that that bean matches. To me, the blue doesn't go with the gray and the dark bean at all. Or a texture, like any of the textures are really pretty. Some sort of texture, texture where on the blue bean and then the back wall. Just change it color wise. It's actually so. This is a continuation of this wall that comes here. So this whole wall going up to here. So it's just not like a bean by itself. It's this whole wall that goes up to here. Which I get it. It seems like it should be up. That's all. Okay. Especially with the no, gray woods going down along the way. So, so and then these are the columns in the space. So these columns actually go right in front of that. So what you guys are saying is you would make this white. Or some other color, or are you only wanting one accent wall in here? White would be pretty clinical. Yeah. I mean, is it, would it be bad that it's the color of the other beans? I think it could be the other beans. Oh, but I, it could also have a texture. If there's a marble look to it or something. Mm -hmm. it could... Brian, Go ahead, Scott. I'm, I'm curious as to what Brian I understand the theme you're going with the blue, with mm -hmm. the river theme. And it's more of a calming color because mm -hmm. that's where the majority of the kids are at, and the more incidents will happen. So I, I see it as a calming color, and uh, I know we want to do everything black and gold. Or, uh, well, I know, but I, I understand. I kind of, I kind of like the colors because I'm a blue fan to begin with. But <laughs> well, my concern is for going sure. with yeah, I'm like a little picture. Like, my like concern is when going with yellow or yeah. something like that is we hold strong to our concept from the beginning. So then when you start to introduce a vibrant yellow, when I'm thinking of your school logo colors, then it's going to be contrasting to this area. I think there's opportunity, you know, like there's opportunities to do that, but I don't think this space would be the one that you would want to do that. I'm, I'm not thinking vibrant, but even yeah. the logo that's on the brick is a pretty muted yellow that's still yellow color. Okay. So I, I'm here here two things. I'm here and we're not huge fans on everybody's a key fan of that particular shade of blue, mm -hmm. which is fair. 
color is tricky. I'm also hearing that there's maybe more blue than we want in this with the duplicate colors. Um, can look to warm it up and make it kind of more themed with uh, some of the district logos and bringing in those warm colors. We can look to potentially reduce the amount of blue, and we can also come back with some other alternate colors of blue that are maybe a little bit, um, I would say, I don't want to disparage anything we're saying here, but a little bit more sophisticated mm -hmm. to speak to your concerns about it being more like um, too much, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there yeah. are some colors that I think are a little more, could be considered more modern, usually a little bit more muted. Right? Yeah. They're a little less bright. So there's going to be a whole color family that goes with that yep. pair. My, my wife would just fall in love with it. In fact, that's the color I had to paint my house. <laughs> so and if I get a car, she's going to make it be blue. So the kitchen floor is blue. Um, it's it's I, I get this, um, but there are some blue grays yeah. that yeah. that would maybe tone that. down that long beam a little bit, so it's not quite such an emphasis. Mm -hmm. um, I unfortunately for St. Helens, yellow. Kind of went out in 1963. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back, but, but mustard is really, then we'll have enough of that in there. Uh, I, I just think that we have to be really, really careful about going school colors. And I, although it is the common area for the community, um, it, it's not all going to be just a, a, a school of sports dessert. I, I think that there's a I think you need to have things that can be decorated nicely in many ways. A little, a little of the gray tone. The thing about the grays is they're kind of tend to be neutral gray. I know in photography, I did a lot of stuff with my neutral gray for a reason, and every color would compare to that. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some things that you can do here, and you can stay with the blue gray theme. If you go look at our river, it's not blue. <laughs> it's actually downstream from the sewage <laughs> treatment plant. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and, you know, I, so I look at that river regularly, and it's more of a blue gray or blue brown. Yeah, yeah. blue brown. But but you know, after a storm, of course, it's brown. But, but the, the actual hue of that consistently is that. From up high is a blue gray, not a blue. And, and so you, you might find you don't want to roll it clear into the salt, but, yeah. but there are things you can do here that I think you, run, you, you do also run the risk. Nobody ever gets our school color correct. Ever. It's a <laughs> so it we, it's a it's a lemon yellow official. Mm -hmm. And we go from bright yellow, lemon yellow, mustard to Strong, almost goldish, and sometimes. the community complains about you're not getting it right. So, trying to hit that target, yeah, I, I, I well, think okay. it's better in accessories. I think I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I think that also, if we wanted to introduce the yellow, the area for that would be the forest because we have the greens and yellows and warmer tones there. Mm -hmm. And so, we can, as we go through that area, we can kind of talk about that. And I can have to go through that in four times. I do, we can definitely, I think a good idea, I, I like your idea about just doing the beans and maybe this accent wall right up here as one color, and we can take out this one and we can definitely find a more muted color. Um, it's also good to look at the color up here versus the renderings because rendering, the digital can kind of be false. You know what I mean? It, it makes sometimes look very, very different. So it's definitely, Come up and look at the actual sample, and if it's still too intense, then we can take it down to more of like a gray. We're not going to turn lights on. So. Yeah. Well, you're going to eventually have to look at it on site because yeah. yep. you you okay. get you can buy gray and it's everywhere from yeah. green to blue to. Yeah. And to we originally, blue. when we put this in, we had a very light, a lighter muted blue. So this was actually pulling the paint samples online and saying, "Okay, this is what we got." So. My, my wife asked me, I just finished painting the entry in the stairwell in the halls, and she says, well, are you going to paint that wall? And I said, I did two coats. She goes, hmm, because it looks white. And the, 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 I said, well, yeah, tomorrow we're going to look at a different color, depending on what the clouds are outside. You know, it's so, but that is pretty baby blue up there. Can we comment, Jerry? Yeah. 
Yeah. Jared like a Jared. Keep in mind uh, <laughs> that Elizabeth is Jared like a professional and she's very good at her job. Mm -hmm. And so while I get that we want to kind of skew things, um, you know, keep in mind that uh, the floor is gray. Uh, some of the weights got is going to pull that gray out of the weights it's got. And if we re reflect that, the tabletops will all be gray. Putting blue in there like she did all through there and the two different tones will really bring color. And if you look at the middle school library, the middle school upper floor, they're blue. They, if you walk through there. But they have wood. Like there's a texture and accent something. and there's yeah. nothing there that says From older. where you're looking at from this point of view, correct. If you step 40 feet to the right, you'll see wood. This is all wood here. So I, I get it. I just think that once you see it all in you know, like a 360, could you guys do that? Just a 360? Yeah, we got the VR. <laughs> so I, I, don't I would know. just bet money that you're going to paint in five years. No. We have to paint every 10 years and stick with their power. Oh, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry's not retired. <laughs> And, and that is one thing is that because you have concrete and we went with a, a grayer wings put in there, if you start to get grayer, it's going to, you don't want to, it gives them a little pop, a little break. We can definitely, if it's still baby blue, we can still lighten it and maybe mute it. But I, I wouldn't, I'm hesitant to invite yellow in there completely. Oh, it is not and yellow. Uh, I definitely can't understand it. Maybe some more, maybe some more pop. Yeah, and I think Kelly, your idea when you talking about like the, the logo on the bottom right there that's made out of wood on the wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another way to kind of bring in indirectly that warmer kind of color uh -huh. without yellow and blue in the same room, right? And if we do it wood and then we have wood wainscoting all along here, and then your doors are all wood, then that's going to kind of pull that bound a little bit. The wood wainscoting is going to really be wood. And it's, it's a uh, hard stop. And then um, you mean up on the beam, though? I didn't see where you were like. Oh, yeah. Where were you talking about? Yeah, yeah, right that's here. what we're asking where you were talking. Right here along this yeah. corridor, all this wings go easier. Oh, yeah, it's the, it's, it it looks like on our sock. I'll go back. Like it's this right here. Wall behind us in that photo, right? It's all that. Well, well that goes with me. Can I give you, I think, a reason why I think maybe it stood out to me, although I'm, I'm blue, dark blue person, but I'm not a light blue anyway, okay? But <laughs> this is going to be a community room, which may need to be all kinds of colors, depending on what's being held in the room itself. Mm -hmm. And so I'll give you an example, and if you walk in the comments, I believe they have a test of, that we currently have. Bought all these decorations for a class reunion, right? And expecting, I mean, not thinking anything about it, it's just a kind of a plain colored room, like these walls are, right? We get there, and I understand the theory, it looks awesome. They painted everything, all railings bright red. Mm -hmm. That room looks so atrocious when we put our decorations on the tables that I just had to not look at the bars. I just had to not look at them. And I, and I loved them when there wasn't something in the room, just like you could love the blue. But if there's a big event coming in here and they needed a color, it doesn't have to be lemon and black. It could be anything. It's got to be a color that can go with other colors for all the things that can be held in there. True. So that's what I'm looking at. And I, and I understand that however blue and yellow are complementary colors. They, they do balance each other. As long as you don't borrow that red paint that's in the comments. Okay. You don't want to do red. <laughs> <laughs> so the door at the far end gives you an idea that uh, the comparison is between red and, and the, the mm -hmm. And now I really wish I would have cut that view instead. <laughs> and then you go back, can you go back again? Yes. It's only... there, so if you can just visualize that um, Wayne's got all the way, that's the two doors, those doors that are double doors. That's the end of the hallway that runs the full length down to the gym. Mm -hmm. are, are we having issues with that cell with the middle school? Yes, in the bigger place with the bubble. With the same material, just a different installer. Different. It's a completely different strategy. Okay. The material with the installation. 
I do have to give you a joke though. I can't believe after building that building that you would even put the word basalt in the vocabulary. <laughs> I would just take that one right now. <laughs> it's a dangerous word around here. It is. It really is. I keep trying to mention it. <laughs> it's terrible. I know. I say rock now. <laughs> no, it's just it's your own hazard when your career goes to work on it. <laughs> okay, so we can definitely revisit this one color. Um, so if that's something we need to do with another perspective view or talk about in the next three Yeah, years. I mean, I think we got, we have this in a model. I mean, again, we're kind of joking, but we do actually have this model. We don't have it quite as fine-tuned as this, but there is the ability to come in, walk around the model, put the VR glasses on, and see where the colors are. Mm -hmm. um, to Elizabeth's point, you know, each projector and each monitor and each kind of vision of that will be slightly different. So having a good reference of the actual physical materials is going to help. You know, in conjunction with that, mm -hmm. that's something that we can definitely make happen. We've brought that on a roadshow at times too. If we need to bring it out here, we can do that also. Yeah. Right. So sorry. No, no, no. It's good. The comments are good. Like I, you know, I'm presenting to you guys because feedback helps. Um. So this is the science classrooms, and just so you guys know, this is part of Spill the River concept, and these all these classrooms that we run along this way. You need to go back to the plan of reference that that's all these classrooms here are the science classrooms. So you're coming around through the corridor. And so can I, I ask a question on the science? Yes. In I'll chemistry, in chemistry now, one of your most popular experiments, a lot of the experiments are a blue green transition. Mm -hmm. And so any you know, that the, the trick was before we were having to put cardboard boxes around and we were trying to see what we were doing or just throw out those experiments. Right. And and so really muted color. I mean, the best color is pink, but it's not very exciting. So yeah. it, it, don't go there. But, but just make sure that you do We actually have a very unique, I agree. Well, your color is at the far side in, in the lab area. You're good and you're up against black. And I don't think it's going to be, if your colors are like that, that's not going to be an And so originally um, we had a green in here. So we did go with the blue and it's a more muted blue. And then we also, this doesn't look like it here because of the color in this projection, but it's a beige too. And that was something that I was thinking about when I was taking accent because I remember you seeing that from the get go. And another question that came up was the sinks because right now we're showing them as black, but do you want them white? Because you need to see the sink, you know, what you're going down the drain or specimens or anything like that. Black. black. Okay. They'll be black. They'll be every color but, but, mm. but white. So right. they'll, they'll they're 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 yeah. stained. Well, and they're, they're epoxy. Yeah. 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 Black, black epoxy would be just okay. And that's what we uh one of the questions is I put the run, I put the new more muted blue. It's not what we have in the quarter of Stephanie, but I wanted to hear your what you would say about paint because I was thinking about you. I was like, he's gonna say something about it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can tell you that the six looked okay and they they were badly stained, but black doesn't broadcast the stain. Yeah, yeah. From what you saying. Well, what you and we should we decided to show the science classroom because um, the last few times we showed you guys the general general classrooms and just showing you know in this space we have um, all your guys' classrooms have wood casework because you guys have and the science classrooms have um, have a concrete flooring where all the other ones have the LPT. Is there a code that we can put on the concrete flooring to avoid? Same. Other colors. <laughs> yeah, like a more um, robust zebra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then going into, I'll show you the floor plan real quick, just to reference. Um, so now you're going down the corridor and you're entering in what we call the Harvard Community Building B and the Media Center. And so we just wanted to focus on your featured areas, which would be the Media Center, your library. And we had originally, we have the carpets that we've talked about. We have the accident carpet at top. We have the, the more utilitarian one below. We have 
wood casework. Um, I have wood caps on your steps with the ramp, and then for your desk, we have a simple design with a Corian transaction counter. You have a little bit of resin up front, and then we've taken a lot of that design that was there and just did a nice PLAM wrap. You have your wall covering that references um, the forest, and then we took out all the accents, the whole space is white, and we just did one accent wall here. And so that complements the wall covering. I'm, and I'm, then you have all of you have open structure and dependent so, writing. So is floor at the existing level? Floor. Is that like, floor is at the existing level? Yeah. 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 And then so, perspective was a little hard to see. So this is the other perspective mm -hmm. from the other side. Now this is tiling for the rendering of the meter, but I could not fix that. And so this kind of shows you your RCP that gets at your open structure, your skylights, how they're arranged. You got a lot of light coming through there and you have your little, your um, suspension ceiling here. Uh, we angled this a little bit because we were thinking about um, students throwing things up and we didn't want things to get stuck up there. So we angled that there. Yeah, there's kids in the wall. So, I, <laughs> so um, and so we have just one accent paint there. And I originally had a lighter one, but it was very intense. So I went with a new one last minute. Um, and that's the existing door coming from the other way. Is that the, this one? No, the one I'm looking at. That's this first, one right here. That double door in the back there. Yeah, this one way back. Here is coming. This is building A over here. It's yeah. really tough to see your. I cannot see anything. <laughs> I, I lose your right there. Sure, and she keeps going to the map, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This door here is right here. And this is coming from building A, mm -hmm. right into here. And now you're in building B corridor. So we really simplified this space. Uh, we just really opened everything up and tried, tried to use what was existing. And then to really take back, we had the career and counseling, which I'm going to go to the floor plan so that you guys can see. So if you go down this corridor here, you kept with kind of the same theme, opening the structure, similar material because we're still in the forest. And this is career and counseling in here. So to reduce kind of the amount of finishes we had, um, and since we had already looked at these carpets, I went ahead and use the same carpets. We have some LVT in there at the border and then a light green accent here. And then above you guys have acoustic wall panels that are wrapped. And you guys have, you know, light anodized framing and the same wall covering that's in the media so we have here. And then we have the resin panel. We have one resin panel here and the same solid surface that's in the media center you have here. So Reception desk materials are very similar to the media center materials. And so kind of reusing what you guys have saves money when you're actually like cutting things and you know putting them together, but also just pulling that concept out. So it's just similar. Moving on to the restrooms. Um, I put this one in because we kind of had a talk about tile and everything, and then I wanted to just kind of show a rendering of what it would look like. And then also we had an original concept of the gender, um, gender neutral restrooms where there was a paint border that wrapped around here in paint. But after us picking a new tile down there, these tiles became our back. I can't believe that. All the way down there are our <laughs> Our tiles, and so that border just seemed to compete a little bit with it. I do have this as a gray wall; it's not really showing up in this rendering, and so we have a darker tile here. And this rendering looks really, really dark, so I would definitely want you guys to look at your samples, which I know you guys got ahead of time, but I got larger samples so that you can see them, and then they're on the board too. So we have the wall tile, the field tile. So I see a change here that I thought we had resolved that may or may not be. Mm -hmm. um, 
At one point, we had an ADA bathroom at each end with opposite door swings because people that have transition issues don't always have a strong left. In this bathroom, the ADA, you need a strong left arm and you can have your right side defeated. Mm -hmm. But if your left side is defeated, that bathroom wouldn't work for you very well. So there's just a question about that. Well, we, at one point, we had those at each end, at least in a couple of places. It didn't have to be the whole school. But yeah, we can look at that so the Right now, we don't have two EDA restrooms, two full EDA restrooms in every location. But what if we, we have it somewhere, just so that somebody that has a challenge that's opposite of that. I'll, I'll go through a double check because I do remember that discussion. We have an opportunity with the ambulatory restroom, which is kind of like the ADA light where it has the grab bars, but it's not the full training radius. And we can reverse the swing on that door easily. That's yeah, the one that's next just, to it, right? I I I'm, I don't see any complaint here. I just that was just kind of a, a question because there are I deal with this on a daily basis. And this is just an example of the general neutral restrooms. There's various sheets of restrooms that you guys have. So um, this was just pulling this to show this concept. Sure. So, sure. I'm sure. Sure. Okay. The we'll we'll follow up with. Is there there's two different floor tiles? There is two different floor tiles. There is a lighter one and a darker one here. This is what's in your guys's um only in the general neutral. So all of the other ones have one floor tile. It was the general neutral because the original concept we had was this wall, the door wall was painted darker. So I kept it in there because we never had a discussion of taking it away. So if you take away, you know, that's fine. But it was just keeping with the original concept that we always had, which was the door wall is going to be painted darker, which you can't see in this rendering very well. And then the seal tile. And I in the general neutral, we used to have it just a base there. And so the paint went up the wall and it kind of created like a entry stack. But we completely mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then the left wall in some way kind of the wet wall in some way. The wet. This is this is your wet wall in the in this wall. I think I think you asked about the same wall when you say wet yes. wall. Yes, yes, yeah, the actual wall is that yeah, okay. yes, yeah. Your wet wall would be like your door wall. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the this this field tile is in your your wet walls and all your stalls, and then the blue is your accent wall, and that's only the long the wall. And that changes depending on what sector you are, right? So if you're in building B, you're going to have more of your blue accents because that's what we were concept. And then we had some gray that we were going to accent in the keep them under control now in the um, building B. Building B. So are all the bathrooms gender neutral always like this? No. So I showed this one because this we hadn't discussed the two floor tiles in a long time. Um, all of you guys have standard bathrooms, and then you guys have ADA bathrooms. And in your stand, in your ADA bathrooms, you have one field tile that's five feet that goes all the way around it, and one field tile. And then in your standard, you have the same thing. Um, you have the same thing, but you do have the accents. The accents. So you just same finishes throughout all of the restrooms, just kind of applied a little bit. The nice thing is that the kids are going to come from the school training. Right? Mm -hmm. But they still have a lot of issues there, right? Okay? So, yeah. So I do think it's worth coming up and seeing the actual finishes in person versus the renderings, because sometimes it's the renderings. We have to scale things up so you guys can see them. The colors aren't as true. Um, and like I said, paint is something that we haven't had in a while to have renderings of. So if the, these are actually the paints. And so what I was thinking, if, if we've gotten through the presentation, we can shut that down, yeah. bring the lights up, and then we can walk through the boards. Yeah, that sounds great. So 
it'll be a little bit redundant, but I think not the next year he was kind of well that goes where that, that yeah goes. unless we have yeah. our renderings here too. So we need to come up. So when you're coming into the floor, when you're coming into the entryway, you have your walk-off mat. I think the purpose um is walk-off mat. And then it leads into your head just coming So your concrete's kind of a lighter color. And then you have your wing coating that's in your um vestibule area and it will have your graphics in the best right right in the vestibule but then when you walk through those doors you will have your tap this was something that we i had here as this is a cork tap door it's colored but i know previously you guys have had them wrapped so if this was something that you want to wrap you can do that but this was always what i had and you know i just wanted to Bring the light to it since I'm getting into the fine detail of everything. So, this is your tap in the corridors. This is your wing coating that goes all the way down around the side. This is your reception area. And so, this is the hemlock wood that will wrap on the wall and the ceiling. This is your solid surface. It's darker to reference that crystal, but not in the wall. Um, definitely polished so it has a nice higher finish. Um, and this is the front of your reception desk, the top counter. And then we have a dark, darker color inside when you put your heater at, so that you know how you're stepping. Um, right now I have it as um, what's called an infinite finish, a little bit more expensive, but it prevents all the scratching when you build up over time. I put some documents down, you can go that one back. Um, and then in your, once you get into there, um, you know, your front office, this is your carpet that's on. That's there, and then your corridors have um, LVT, and this is your resilient flooring, rubber flooring that is in your health area. And we have that as a coat base so that you, you know, all the dirt can build up and then sanitation. I know it's not like a high health area. But that's a well achieved. Yeah, yeah. And so then, then this one, then we have our casework in this area because we have the wood LVT. Have the case working on as wood. Then moving down the corridor, you get to sorry, the case work again. The white countertops and gray. Yeah, it's, it's uh, gray bases. Uh, and this is a line of lead, so it's got like streaks in it. That's the uppers. And then your countertop, it's not good. When you get close to it, you're going to see that. And then as you go down to the commons, this is your. Wing coating, this is your concrete, and then these are the actual pieces. So if you know, take a look. And so that's actually your finish up here because then you're also going to leave this with this color of wing coating. In, in health, is it an LVT or is it a sheet? In health, it's a sheet. It's a sheet rubber. So it's a sheet. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah I kind and, of thought that that's when I asked. Yeah. The sheet. So when we originally went through like when we wanted your finishes, this was one of the areas and you guys have originally your health center and we had this, so I kept it throughout and I have it all for the Um and so then which we don't have the material which we're not showing in our renderings is we have our band in choir that is in um in Philippines in sector A and we picked a um this is a carpet but it functions like an LVT. So it lays down and like you know, pour stuff on top of it, and it just kind of just stays on top of you right off. So it's a, it's a tile. It's a tile, but it's a carpet, but it functions like an LED. Yeah. And so that's what we have in building. Those are really all the finishes. And we'll have probably um, some accents of blue in the um, band area, but we also have acoustic panels in there and your ceiling. So that's pretty much all of building A. The designs that are on the ceiling in the cafeteria, what is that that's hanging? Or is it just on? Is it yeah, what we have is we have the beams and the trusses, and then these little circle things, those are your lights. No, they look like there was like waves. Structure. That's structure. So they're large, right? So they have, they're seeing like the angle, I think maybe of the, of the, Look at no, the ceiling of Walmart and you'll find it. Like the mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just trusses. It will be painted white. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can come up and look. Yeah, you can come up and look. It's structure. But yeah, feel free to come up and look. We, we did have 
So before we had things in the ceiling, and now we're talking about all of it. So that the like signs or X's, it's just Maybe they'll have that structure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's holding the light. No, no, that's structure. Right. That's holding the roof. It's just, it's trusses. Why does it look so weird about it? It's just like, it's the same type of outfit. The most developed. They're oh, yeah. 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 I think it was one of your guys' original comments about the spit and the ground. So yeah, that's why we went that part. I definitely so, didn't know. Yeah. So yeah. this is a loose thing. Mm -hmm. so I mean, we should order it. So here, here, <laughs> here's two things with it. You can, it has an adhesive back so you can lay it on it so it's strong, but you can also use a spray and that makes it even more but stronger. So. Well, I'm thinking more easily. You can go either way. More easily I think removed, so I, I all the paths out for me. Pressure <laughs> <laughs> You're not. I, I, you, I, I do feel like you can get the crack that you pressure wash off. Yeah, that's yeah. just quiet, right? Can a band get LBT? Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. That is choir. Choir, okay. you're not spitting. Yeah. Shut up. I have to look on it. But I, I believe they both have it. Yeah, I believe they both have it. And I know that your guys' in offices have the police department. No, 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 you're right. All the, you're right. It's LBT. It's LBT. Oh, okay. right. It yeah, is so LBT. It is so you just can get where the director is walking around. That's great. But then you switch the transition to LBT with the students. They, you want to transition this in the choir? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, if you want it for that improper acoustics, that's fine. The boots aren't much of a problem. It's that. I think the well one is all the donors for what you got to draw. Yeah, we have all LBT in the band. Thank you. Okay. And then we have all carpet in the other. And that's then fine. in the offices, we have this carpet. For me, you said corridors is the what LBT? So, so that is the question that came to me. It's the corridors that you guys are talking about, like about the eight of eight, right? And so there's two things I have right now the this product, but I have it tiled in the sheet. Um, and so what I sent you guys was that because it's already in the project, we check it in with your price, right? And then there was the grotto that is like it's a little bit more expensive, and, but it has I actually specified for the quarters of the quite but it's tiny thickness, but it has a change of the This is just bad. And then I can put them in the record. And then we have the two schools, two schools I know in Portland Public that have used it, Franklin only has like a little section, but they it's literally how we want to apply it right top of concrete. And they were saying not to the train, but she showed us the total work. And it looks really nice in the front. So that one, and I think it's like Stevenson yeah, so Elementary has had this. Problem. However, if you are still uncomfortable with it, <laughs> the LBT by Interface is a good option because of the pattern in the LBT. LBT has that layer on top of it. So that layer is just something that's going to be right. And so it's good. I mean, this is really good. Mm -hmm. right. uh, interface has an increasable packing on the shower, right? It's just a little bit more. It's ready. Yeah. It's very yeah. cool. It's not some child. So if you want to go that route, I would. You got the dark one in the light one and the yellow. I got all. But that's a much more rougher. The tile cavity is quality. So we'll take that down. You know what I mean? And Nora is on the show today. Like, 
for the lifetime of the project. They will train the maintenance. They will come in and like teach you how to use it. Be there when you install it if you want them. Um, there, there are customers. And the rep is, so she's already said, if you want to walk down and go with her, she'll take you to the school and meet with whoever she knows. So, that's what I can say. Okay. So, um, so she stands by her product. So, either product is good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so, you think of all of And then, so should, should I address the new? This is building B. And then, so this is your carpet, and this is this is the one that's up by the um, circulation desk, and then this is one that's down low by the bookshelf, so it's more utilitarian. Um, this is the resin panel, so I know on our renderings it looks like big leaves, and that's just so it shows up. But this is the resin panel, and it would be off in like two inch stand off the front, so it's not like a big design. It adds a little something to your reception desk, but it's not. It's not too pricey. This is your coring top for your transaction counter only on the circulation desk at career counseling and the meeting center. And then the rest is PM. And then your LBT is in your office in the media center. And then these are the wall coverings that's in the back. And then these are over here in the media center, as well as your main one. In career counseling, and these are the acoustic yeah, yes, well, panels. Mm -hmm. like, yes, right. Yeah, just take that start. You know, like, yeah. And I, I don't know. This, this is fine. I don't know, but this is kind of too much. Too much. Too yeah, much. we can do that. Kind of I mean, come right to me, and I would just picture it made me feel like I wasn't even looking at anything else. Yeah. And see, I'm a person who likes a look contrast. So I do too. I <laughs> that's a baby shower. Yeah, I think that's all. That's that sounds. That's yeah. I can definitely adjust that. Um, now, if you guys want to see how this looks on a bigger model, I just put in the shower, and this would go really quick. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is for the locker yeah. time, right? Oh, if I ever get rid of it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's for the locker time. Yeah. 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 Yes, lockers are all coming out. And then the one that was. That I wanted to show that on the board we're showing here. This is the field dial. And right now in the documents, I have these as your two floor tiles. And that one I sent over there is your option for your floor tile instead of having a few tones. So the thing you clarify when you say field tile is floor tile or wall? Wall, wall tile. This would hide scratches. This would hide scratches. That's what I wanted. <laughs> but it's yeah. it's I try to it's still not too bad. So yeah, good. It's not good. It doesn't have that too shiny. And then this is your uh fault surface yeah. counters that are for your sinks. So these are your cones together. And I just threw in a lighter option of that one if you guys wanted to go lighter. What do you think, Jared? Is this easier to maintain? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna matter to you. Uh light is a little better. But that's just you know it's easy. I was just wondering if if this breaking up the surface makes it you know so like, place, if there's some damage or something you can do hide it. Put some bondo on there. I mean it's a it's a <laughs> trial. I think it's pretty durable. Oh, sure. um, this is what's in your documents. That's what I like. Ooh. I, I don't <laughs> have a problem. Um and those are your accents. And then again, so this is your LBT that's in your classroom that has a physical backing integrated into it. And it has uh, it's an L and it has the texture, so that height stuffs over time. It's it's a really good product. And then you have your um, wood L your standard classrooms have wood casework, and then you have the lighter countertops in your standard classrooms, and you have the up in your science. And then this one here is for like back of house areas. Um, I'm trying to think of one. I think I have it like the London Center or something like that too there because the morning one thing there is LBT. So it's also this. This is kind of your LBT in, in the areas. Was it a West View or we went to the Pennsylvania Heritage Station? Yeah, 
Will it add it to the crucible? No, to the tea bright boil. Is that right? Tea bright in the boil? So the, the thing that I think you're not seeing an argument, but we'll check with the team, is I think we're using an acoustical sort of the, you know, deck that's holding up the roof has a crucible property, so very similar to what we use. It's got the holes in it. Has the holes in it, it's got insulation inside of it as well. Yeah, I was just, just hearing that, that the cost of availability of that may change. So everything, it, it, it's fairly controlled now as far as trying to get materials. Yeah, that's just yeah. I mean, that was yeah. came out about twice in terms of the cost. But... So that's in there. I do think we did value engineer out some of those hanging acoustic panels. Um, but there's nothing to say we can't add them back later because sure. they're too loud. They're not heavy enough that we can have them on the structure or anything like that. I think it's just adds up to the existing mm -hmm. relative. If we, if we get in there and find it too late, that's so easy. Talking to the guy who's doing it, he came out to recruit our kids today. Mm -hmm. And they, they're going to go into his shop that he's doing the uh, woods uh, timber structure for the airport. Oh, 30 yeah. acres. Mm -hmm. That tiny project? Yeah. 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 Oh, he's, he's building it. That's cool. what he's doing. And he says, I have a CNC that closed the drawer and stand up on the rooms. And that was wanting to do things with our kids and donate some labor and materials for our kids. And we kind of work on the relationship he's been the last grade with the kids. And I'm thinking, gee, you know, if you wanted, what I was saying is if you wanted a, a really cool CNC cut line or something, um, you might just be happy to do that. And he grew up out here. So he, uh, Steve Carroll, and his wife grew up out here. So uh, that uh, long ways, I think, is his wife's name. Anyway, so he's got a connection. And, and I think it's something that Tim Crosser was talking about grabbing to the side of where he's like. Rather than hire some fancy shop, and then uh, the other thing is that composites university is families too. So that if you're interested in something, you take a demonstration of parts to raising up the next. With with that said, as you said, signage. Um, what we have is we have metal signage. On the admin, the career counseling, and the media center. And then I think in the other areas, we just have vinyl. So we didn't go with anything really decorative or wood or anything like that. We ended up being very simple, but I think it still has like a very clean language. So style. even our metal shop has uh, eight foot by five feet. And then just as a side note, I don't know if I've mentioned it in a long time, the culinary as the poor person is pouring, we have a silver coffee cabinet. We have tile in there, and we had actually, but now the culinary is now building B, so we could probably change it to something else. So, um, well, it used to be in building A, I know. <laughs> so now it's a building B. So I didn't throw an accent in there. Um, so the things that you guys haven't seen are were the wings coatings. Paint. I sent in advanced tile samples and the resilient flooring for the corridors. And so, if there's any, and then I don't think you guys have seen the acoustical panels that would be wrapped up high in the career counseling. This is fairly high. That's the tack board that's in the wings. So, when you are, I want to say, I'm like trying to think here. 
No, it's like the tack board's like here. You know what I mean? So your tack board is like standard height, and then it will go up to seven feet that aligns with the tall wings coating, the top of the rollers with the wings coating. Yeah. And so that's not wrap. That's just it's a dyed um, linseed oil. It's super sustainable. <laughs> so and so those I just wanted to bring those little things because we had to talk about them. And then we never talked about really what these scalers would be. And so I had them at exposed concrete for a long time. And I was like, that's probably not safe. And so I put little caps on them. Um, if there's, if you guys would like more of a rubber, you know, I would, I would rubber tread. That's going to be just a second. Either, either concrete or, or the, just the plain old coat cap. Okay, you're talking about the, the, the rubber. Yeah, something like that. The rubber ones. <laughs> and is those that are, what you would think? What would you For stair tread? Yeah. <laughs> what is stair tread? This is scary. I mean, I can, yeah. Just, well, you know, the other. And the reason why I looked at this area was because this is a media center, and, and so you don't have like people running because it's a library. Um, <laughs> I'm saying that word, but I wanted to just show that because I think we can always do with the standard rubber. So that they're concrete now. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll be concrete now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and currently they're just concrete. Yeah. And so I wasn't sure if they'd come on the table. The thinking was that the media center has a lot of wood action and it's kind of a warmer, uh, brighter space. But I just I get, I'm trying to get if they're not made out of solid wood stairs, it can kind of wear it mm -hmm. over time. Um, the concrete looks like it's good for yeah. Well, if you guys are okay with the concrete, they look really nice. Yeah. It looks really nice. And you don't put the paper on the stairs. No. I would never say that. Yeah. It actually should be wear and tear over time if you're going to have to do it. I would either say put the concrete in the floor or do that rubber. I would want to ban the rubber with the concrete in that space. I thought it was kind of reduce the quality of it. I actually need the concrete to be in the Okay. And then the other question I had too was that the ramp, because we got that ramp in the media center. And if you leave it concrete too, or if you want something like that, it's like, I'm not going to have
this is this is as late as you could possibly do it in the process to get the most accurate information as far as what's in the project for the design and what we're asking them to do. But you're right, it does sometimes change. So then it feels like we're bidding on so many things and doing so many accents and so many materials on backslash or like desk throughout. I'm wondering if we're spending a lot of money on so some of those details. So we with this this design, we we start from so we we started with more finishes and then as every time we had to reiterate so the cost we reduced and we, you know we increased and reduced so that is why like this like your career counseling your media center all same materials but you're cutting costs by you know ordering more of them and then using them the reason why i'm using your solid surface transaction powder and two spaces is because when you get this huge sheet, why would you only want to pay for a huge sheet and only take this section when you can use it in various places, right? right? So those things are all taken into consideration. So it's we have a resin panel, but you have the resin panel in two of your reception desks. You know what I mean? And then they come in certain lengths. So those things are taken into consideration because we've already taken out a ton of finishes. Um, you're not given paint paint. You know, if, if it's a satin, you're going to pay more for a pot. You know what I mean? But you're not having where we have is tile. And so, one of the things that I've been talking a lot about is okay, we have tile throughout. There are ways to cut costs by saying, like, for instance, if we were looking at this restroom here, the gender neutral restroom, this wall right here technically is not a wet wall. We don't have to have a tile. We can bring that down to a six inch space and we can just do standard paint there. So those are things like as the prices come in, there's <laughs> there is that retail Yeah, we've been thinking, thinking about like how to keep with the design, but still get you where you guys want to go. You know what I mean? So the costs are there, but there's also like a strategy of what we can keep and still keep the design, well, you know, the finishes. And the finishes I tried to keep on to like what we originally kind of our first meetings and every little thing that has changed, like we opened up the structure. So now we have columns and beams. And so we've done a lot of iterations and always looking at costs and what's come, you know, what's more and what's not. So I mean it's gonna happen. Yeah. But so one yeah. other strategy to that that Elizabeth has been really good about is trying to create that visual interest, but still trying to be very strategic about it. So you may seem like the case worker has a different countertop and a different a face and a different upper laminate, but we're kind of using those same laminates throughout the project just in so many different ways mm -hmm. so that we, we're still trying to create a consistent family of materials without using too many. It actually is a pretty big project too. So once you pull everything together for the size of the project to have it pared down to this, because we do show like a lot of different finishes, but there are quite a few of these that we keep on the floor. Right. This, and that was one of the things that presenting this it was hard because I was like, this wainscoting isn't all of your building. You know, this this plastic lemon is all of your building. Um, I think what I, I mean, we could have just done a board that showed one of them, all of them, but I wanted to show the relationships to your space. So there's, looks like there's a lot, but you actually, it's pared down quite a bit. You have one wainscoting that's going throughout your whole building that's custom on it. And I think you have like another, like two tests, three tests. One in your building C and one in building B and one in further. In the comments, you have that one, and then everywhere else you have the uh, where's the amber? The, the, the amber, and then in the building C you do have a lighter one because you have that as an art corridor and you have the stone spaces and you want your art to stand out there too. And that's where that's pretty much it. And then again, building B has all the same finishes, building A has all the same finishes. Know, your your restaurants all the same. So. And when the bids do come in, we will get line item costs for each of these mm -hmm. and interiors for better or mm -hmm. worse because you can still function and have a school if like all of your day's work is the exact same color. Mm -hmm. So we will have a chance to evaluate all that too. Right. Mm -hmm. We really are trying to be strategic, but we're also trying to be um, careful with the resources and we know there's challenges with material. We're relying on our contractor to help guide that process quite a bit, 
to, to see what their feedback is. Oftentimes, they learn some pretty interesting things when they go out to get drilled. So, so we went out to bid on it is in the process, so it is in the contractor's hands. It's a it's a very elaborate process with the TNTC because they're breaking it up into very many smaller bid packages to go out. But generally speaking, we're going to be getting bids back in in about our weeks, and then the process of some of that. Oh, I thought bid um, uh, So that is for a discrete set of the different. Set of bid packages, those are more of the larger envelope packages and some of the site packages. Right. Right. I think we're going to, they're still going through that stuff and getting it together for us. We'll, we'll find out. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Hit in my stomach belly reaction to the green and the blue, like the baby colors, and then that green um, carpet yeah. is. I'm really worried about community response on it, and I would. I kind of feel like maybe asking your teachers or the students of the high school, people already in that space, um, might be welcomed. For what? For where? The green carpet, the green carpet, and carpet and stuff on the, the video screen. Like, I just feel like it's such an aged room. It doesn't. Are you talking about both, both of them? Yeah, that room in general, the media center. Mm -hmm. I think, I guess. People look at the sample like that. Yeah, I, I guess what I'm kind of hesitant is I get by the sample. We mm -hmm. came in and. Well, no, even there. on the, yeah. the videos. And even, even there, it's more than what you would want we came in and we laid out and showed the, the, the pattern to everybody so you can see how it would be installed so you um, the birdie showed it to the staff uh not to the staff we showed it to the district, the district right yeah. not to the staff um but that's what we that's what we came in and we showed all the, the layouts and the patterns before the night staff no so you we just get too many visions yeah, well, yeah. and we can certainly follow up. I know color has scale, mm -hmm. carpet has pattern and scale. Mm -hmm. So we can, we can, part of this is to, the whole idea is to get feedback and get areas of concern, mm -hmm. right? Which I'm noticing a trend. There's mm -hmm. certainly very specific areas that mm -hmm. have a higher level of concern that we do want to pay attention to. So we can figure out how to report back and we can bring larger samples. Mm -hmm. We could potentially bring options. Flooring is kind of what the whole, room and space is built off of. So it's really hard to change that, I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but we do want to be responsive to your concerns. And, and if, since these are, these are like the standard child, there is one that goes with each one of those, a gray. So you can combine it with it, would be another carpet added to the project, but that would bring, you know, you could do a mix of like 80 gray and, you know, 20 of the green. And so then you have less intensity. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's worth seeing the actual layout of what that looks like. Um, even the rendering doesn't capture it the way that it should. Um, you'd have to see it by the manufacturer. Or when I when I bring in a large sample, it'll show like the layout in the back. So, yeah. yeah and that and that way I think it's a lot of I get your head of picture. Well, I have a large scale building with some crazy carpet in it. Like I yeah. understand the industrial part of it. And the bowling alley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it would look great in the bowling center. I feel like our community's main concern will be money. Mm -hmm. We don't want to spend a lot and waste a lot. And if, if it starts feeling aged early, then mm -hmm. they'll be talking about replacing and then we're spending more money. And that would just be my main concern. Well, that other yeah. one will take a lot of abuse and wear because it's kind of a model thing. The bottom one is a little more organized. Yeah, that one won't take the same, like in the classroom. Uh, Ed, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like uh, I'm looking at computer code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looking at the yes. rendering, I actually really <laughs> like the material and what it looks like right there. When I see it in here and visualizing the space, I'm not sure that 
it will age well. Yeah, and I, I, and that's always where I kind of get hesitant about renderings is because they, they're limited on how we can show that pattern based upon what we get to put in that. So I really think I, I would, would want to show you like the back of it. Um, also, if this, this is um, has a lot of gray in it. So we could also take this one down and just do the gray. And so then you have your accent at the top there, and then you have your gray down there, and that would give you more of a time difference. And if you have your accent green wall, then you're still pulling in that forest concept. I don't like this yeah. <laughs> oh, if we're paint's just, an issue, that is not yeah. a paint yeah. an issue. We can address paint. This is the first time I put paint. And it was a hard one to do because. This is for the media center because I originally had a light and I felt like it was too pastel in myself, so I went darker. If this is still too pastel, I'm okay with bringing it down. This is the first time you guys are seeing paint, and I'm looking for opinions on paint because. And you had one that was more forest green, and some of those that mm -hmm. represented what you wanted. And yeah, those look pretty. You like the darker ones. Yes, yeah. and that's that's great. That's information for me to yeah. make sure you because I haven't selected accents in in the document. I put in we need an accent paint, but I haven't put in a color yet. So those we are have the two colors of my paper. <laughs> um, however, the reason, you can why, it last. the reason why this one is, is very light is because in the career counseling, we have these as your um, as your acoustic wall panels um, above, and then this is a band. I kind of flip that one right now. I just have a whole house for these Well, yeah, but how long have they been there? One of them a week. Okay, go back. You guys got to know that Kelly and I are serious DIY networkers, you know? And so that's so your green is not like a big part of it either. And it, so then you have the white wall all above, and then you have these panels above there in the career counseling. That's this color here, not this, not this one. And it's the first. I want to hear your opinion. If you don't like something, like say it now, because you know you don't want something you don't want in there in the documents. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hearing less pastel. Well, we're gonna, we'll show up with some options for really great. We're gonna show up with some options and some alternative strategies for the new center carpet. Yeah, great. Right? What else are their concerns about? Anything else? I just don't want to go too dark. Right. right. And, and I agree with that too. To yeah. a point too. I just don't want to look like a hospital either. Well, yeah, hospital yeah. is that's good. my yeah, just no definite. Hospital. That's the way I feel about the middle part at least. This one here. And, and this, and then, yeah. Although yeah. I like parts of it and it would go good with other parts. It's just well, you know, hospitals Absolutely. work very hard to get that color. I know. And do. Melody mentioned sophistication. So I think just in general, yeah. Yeah, but I think that was something at the outset that we didn't want it to be like, a, like an elementary school, like mm -hmm. super colorful. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. primary colors. I mean, I do think that we really tried to focus on primarily a very neutral palette, warmed up with wood, mm -hmm. right? So grays and blacks, and like the warm accents with wood accents, either laminate or real wood, wherever we can, and, and very selectively using color. The color is always the most challenging. It is. I I never like, so I think we're doing great, honestly. Uh, I would expect I that we would come back with a couple, but I think we're doing great. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, I get the not wanting it to feel almost like a hospital because, and so we can bring this one down and use accents because we do have the color in the carpet. You know, we can go with more of a neutral. So, yeah, that's great. And you know what? You know what? I think <laughs> I get the baby blue one. I think I know what bugged me better. First thing I wanted to do was paint white clouds on it. <laughs> and, and the reason McDonald's play area till mm -hmm. right before COVID was completely that color blue and all the McDonald's characters and white clouds were in that whole room. And yes, it was bright and pretty, but it looked like elementary. Yeah, so that's why, I think, yeah, that's why. I want to paint white clouds on it right away. It might be good to go through our two new schools and focus on the paint color. Because you'll see a vibrant, kind of darker uh, green aqua. What are you doing? Are we going there? We can walk there. Um, and then, you know, and then you'll see the middle school, which has more of a lighter color like these. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why we went to it, because it um, has a more time. So, but in both of those schools, their accents in the bathroom are floor to ceiling. 
Uh, one of them has hexagons, so I feel like we're missing the texture. Um, Sorry, what? Florida ceiling in the bathroom on yeah. the tile. It's all, it's a whole wall instead of half wall. And one of them is like hexagons, so there's some materials and textures that aren't showing here that are definitely elsewhere. So the subway tiles, those are going to be the floor to ceiling. Yes. That instead of the hexagons, we're going with the, the subway like that. On the mirror wall with the same. So same approach. That is a special wall that does get texture. And it's really hard to see in the rendering. Just I was talking about the half wall. You have a half tile wall on the back. Yeah. And in the middle school, um, that's more of a background tile also, if I recall. It's like a white, like large format, just protecting the wall generally. Mm -hmm. Because we really want to keep the focus on that near wall with the same lots of texture, lots of lots of color. And that is the approach here with those colored kind of textured watery tiles. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So we could also look to bring a little rendering of that so you can see a little bit more mm -hmm. how much wall there is on that one. The bathrooms are all a little bit different. Here. I'm like, but when one. people walk by, they're looking at the they're not looking at the mirror, they're looking straight away and they're seeing a half line. Right. And that's typical. So all of our other schools, elementary, have that. Um, it, They're not open. Uh, you have open concept, gender neutral, you know, the AL2 hand You're not looking the bathroom. in the bathroom unless you go in. But every hallway that you're walking, Plymouth and middle school, your far wall is an accent showcasing a texture or something pretty that does something for the sure. school. Let's Take your vision away from all the doors in the room. <laughs> so are you saying because of the general neutral, because they're open, you would want to see a portable tile? It's the one thing that's different, is what I'm saying. And the only thing with that is, I mean, you could do that specifically for the general neutral. Um, but once, I think that's going to end up competing with your accent wall. Yeah, exactly. uh, because then you have... You know, it's four wall with your actual your field tile, your wall tile, which is this right now. That actually, if you come and look up, it has a lot of texture. And so, if that's all the way up, and then you have this, you're competing. So the, so the texture and the color, it's all on the seafloor. This exterior wall is very back, right? Right, but this. Material is all the way up and normal, like plastic looking. And here it was showing half wall, no window, uh, dark. Just it yes, it like, is darker. We could look to make it more like it this, sense. where it's brighter, lighter. But I high height versus full height is cost. Right? Do we actually have a window in that bathroom in Plymouth? I don't um, think we do. Oh, this is Plymouth, yes. The big, there's a window in Plymouth bathroom? Yes. Oh, uh, yes, and the only ones that don't are high school. Yeah, because of the existence. So this there's, is there's not windows at our middle school bathroom. It's the end of the wall in the junior I want to say there's <laughs> yeah. I'm saying when you walk by them when you see that far wall, it's like it's probably to be at least two. You know, you're five. missing out and you can see how they are. Right? <laughs> so that's the typical condition of the middle yeah, school. Right? That is the middle school. Yeah. So these so bathrooms to me it looks like a Tunnel. They're darker. And like, that's because we can't get that window in there. And that does yeah. make a huge difference. So we got like rendering. So I think yeah. the view that you're seeing. I want a soccer player on the back wall. Then I want a football in the next back wall. Well, so this view is, is you, this different. is your action wall. This is your mirror wall. And then you're gonna have this view. I know it looks like a tunnel, but it's like the camera. It's the camera. You get, it's just the way the computer renders. So you're looking this way. And so you, what you're seeing, this half wall, is literally this wall right here. Right. But, mm -hmm. And so then you'll have that. Our community, we built the middle school and they already feel like it's too small. Mm -hmm. We have locker rooms that aren't being able to be utilized. The kids do not get to change into their PE clothes mm -hmm. and, and go out to PE. They don't get to change because it's too small. So they don't get to go in there. And so, so that looks like a locker room to me. It looks like our community is going to go, great, we just spent money on another hole in the wall. Like, that's just 
the anxiety that I feel that our community is going to have feedback to us going, this isn't what we paid for. So what are you saying you want to see like an accent on this wall as well? I'm just saying, or you just want more. I'd go floor to ceiling or I'd do something pretty on the back wall because they're going to be walking by okay. and already. That's what you yeah, that's what they're looking at when they're walking by. Okay. And it takes your attention then, like I said, away from all the doors in a row. And it's like, you're, you're seeing that soccer player drawn on the back wall, the football guy, the, you know, the baseball player, the golfer. To make yeah, your black and white sports black thing. And white. Yeah, something on that back wall. <laughs> And it is tight. I mean, there's, you know, three feet, you know, if you open the door all the way to six feet of a corridor. Yeah. Um, and yes, it's not like huge, but like, you know, we have so much space, we have so much money. I know. You know, that's the, that's the drawback is we originally, when they drew this, it was like double sided sinks with, you know, it's a lot bigger. And then we kind of had to move the kitchen over there. So I'm just hoping that we can make it look prettier as with the texture, so it doesn't look like a dark tunnel and they well, start comparing a, it. On the far end, you'll get a lot of natural light coming in from the, that whole wall on the cafeteria's glass up to 20 or 14 feet. And then, so that's gonna, you can kind of see that little light spot on the back there. That's gonna actually bring in tons of natural light reflection in there. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty nice. So while people are eating, they can look down the hallway. Uh, well, they'd have to come around the corner, but yeah, yeah. So it's a hallway, it's an extension. We want it to be open I mean, so people aren't afraid to go in. I think, too, the thing is, well, we're considering cost. Like, we put that there so that it kind of matches and flows with the rest of it. But this is a wall that if we have to save money, like, you're going to take it down to the six inch base and clean paint. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you can. That's just what. That's <laughs> what <laughs> Comment about that. We're going to make it too dark, right? So I was thinking about that with the well, dark, dark makes it seem longer. It's too, right? So mm -hmm. if we go with a lighter restroom floor, and we do everything we can to have that back wall as light as possible, and have it be whatever is on there, have it be full light, right? And make it, mm -hmm. you know, if we can do something that's a focal point, great. Um, it kind of comes down to cost. At least design. in your community areas, you have your comments in the, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the gym space. I, I do think that if you want to go, because this is honestly, this condition really just didn't exist with the general neutral for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. um, maybe going, if you want to go to the ceiling with those, then maybe we go with a lighter tile. This one is the, this is the one in the document. This is the one I have here, but this is a lighter one. Yeah, and, I, I think and you can go, you, it's still, your accents are still, the accents are still gonna pop. So we can go with this lighter one. I still would go with, Probably one of these two floorings um, because they're darker. And when you talk about grout lines and you know stuff over time, it's a little nice to go with a darker point. And so then with the lighter tile, you're gonna have less of that tone feel. But I mean, that's also the feeling of being in, in that view of a of the computer of the country. Right. Just as just an idea. Um, what what if you just even as simply as had one row of a tile of the color and just add even another line going across. So it just adds some color to the room and it does still make it a focal, but it doesn't make it be that all dark at the end. It's just got That's a row saying. and a row or something, you know, add just some color or something. Yeah. You're still doing the tile. Remember, you're just, you gotta buy one box school, by itself. Or right? the high school. So they're gonna have like, oh, there's so-and-so on this, you know, yeah. and there will be kind of things because it is part of a hallway. Um, you know, <laughs> and so there will be some color in there while it looks kind of drab right now. It, it will look really like that. What's studio little stuff? <laughs> Go to McBride and get the outfits. It's the, the one wall. Well, sturdy, yeah. They're sturdy. And these are, uh, they're like a ceramic and they kind of have like a they're not the same, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's variations of color. So when you lay them up, they have a, kind of like a flow of color. Because the gray one looks a little bit thicker, but then the white one, you're tapping a little bit of those. It looks really thin. So when you put them, yeah, it kind of has a little, 
information. I mean, they're, they're the same, but we'll see it. Wave variation. Yeah, you're going to see a wave variation in the style. And I mean, you can kind of see it here. This is all the aqua tile, but these are like colors within the aqua. So then we do a nice layup on the wall. And I wish my tile presentation when I first showed these, <laughs> then, then you would see how that has a lot of color. And these are bright. So you're, I think you're going to have a lot more color than what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot brighter than what you think for that space. Um, we can go to the ceiling and see what see what it does. But it's honestly, those are one of the areas that I was thinking of. It's got to stay soft on the meat. Like, that's, there's no need for tile on there except for aesthetics. So, or then, yeah, like maybe keep it to the ground and not split the web. Yeah, um, we, have split it. we can do one floor tile. I did bring up uh, pipes of toilet since these are in our community spaces too, where we, the builder or the contractor was checking on that, but it was going to bring it up with you so that it can make sure that it happens. But we might want in certain bathrooms some smaller height toilets. Okay, and I apologize. No, it's just being at children's. I remember. So in the preschool area, for sure, we're looking to do like no, a elementary school. child EPA. So even lower down than with elementary. Actually, typically with elementary, we still do standard EPA height um, because it's comparable. Yeah. Um, so we don't, I think, have that currently called out in any of the public spaces that the high school students or that the high school public community would use. They are in the preschool. Okay. Is that enough or is that- That's fine with me. I just had brought it up with him and he wasn't sure. So we won't yeah. there. So we talked about it in the last construction meeting on Tuesday and doing a final com confirmation with Andy in our office as we speak. So just to make sure that we can report back to exactly what you want. That could be a cute design. You just put the line for short people on the first door. And then <laughs> And then when you walk in, you just know that you go to whatever door is your height. Yes, yeah, that's the one on the right side. Door. Door. <laughs> You're too short for this one. Yeah. It'll give a little design. It is a thing. 27 inch toilet. I know. I like it. Okay. So I just want to make sure everybody's had a chance to provide the feedback that they want and need with anything they have concerns with. Um, like I said, this is close to the finish line. A lot of this stuff works. We're committed to, but there are options when we talk about making some changes to the carpet. You know, that's probably the, the most impactful, honestly, but I still think that there's time to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Just, just you know? to be ready to add drugs to the light. Yeah. Make it you know, a little bit just different. And I'll come look at your floor tile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But I, I like the idea of definitely that. Thank you. And so thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody yells. We're just like, okay. Nope. <laughs> Color is the hardest part of all of us. I like the mess, so I can have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> you got veto, though. Everybody's Actually, so then there was, you brought this up about the only size auditorium, the wood. Class, you guys were going to save it. Are you not using that now? You're going to we, I, we actually got direction from the district this week that we wanted to swap that out to just a wall. And then we saw the party that we actually didn't want to really protect those spots in the corridor. In the corridor. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, outside the auditorium, by the entry of the auditorium. Yeah, once they got salvaged, it was pretty. I'm salvaged. Didn't fare well. Yeah. By the way, did all the bricks get thrown away? It didn't always fare well. The floor was salvaged. I mean, in a corridor, the vertical slabs are probably not. Watch the wood back in. Sure, it's the mid century design idea right now. That's right. Yeah, yes, yes. Easy enough. Sorry. Took a lot of your time. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't. I took a lot of yours. <laughs> Just be glad we didn't start our meetings at like 13 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs>
can get home before dark. <laughs> we can't. Oh, okay. All right, six point oh. Does this address the board? Yeah. Okay. Upcoming meeting input. Uh, regular board meeting at six thirty. May twenty fifth. Single high school senior honor society. Six point oh. And then, and then enough about you guys. I, just, I wanted to ask Christy because this is our crazy time of year. If she could put us a full calendar starting for, from next week all the way through the very last day of school that's got everything from the middle school's graduation to Plymouth High's graduation to budget meetings to you name it in a row. So I, I could do that. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I have one that'll say that this is the middle school's one, and then another one saying Plymouth High's. So I'm going to. Yeah, I can probably do it first. Oh, it's really good. Well, or we send the note back to the principals because for a while they, it's only they. So are we adjourned? Are we adjourned? It's yeah, as long as they can get into school.